I wanted to go to Rio because I read an article that said 2006 is the first year that more people live in urban areas than rural ones, and that scares the shit out of me. More city people than country people in the world can't be a good thing. Since the whole planet is going to be a super slum in a few years anyway, I wanted to see one with my own eyes. That's why I headed down to the world's most famous slum, the city of God Favela. We have around 500 favelas in Rio de Janeiro. Favela means slum, as you probably know. And almost every favela in Rio de Janeiro are controlled by drug lords. This favela started in 1969, and I was born here when we started. We have a good people down here, you know what I mean? Drug lords make one million dollars per week selling drugs in the favelas. They say a lot of fake things outside. That's, you know, favela is too dangerous. Favelas are violent because there are a lot of conflicts between the drug lords and their soldiers and the police. Brazil has over 50,000 murders per year. Living in Rio de Janeiro, living in Brazil, might be much more dangerous than to live in countries where wars make casualties every day. You have to be careful up here because that's a poor people. The government doesn't care about us. We make a part inside here. So they open the doors up yeah. and people can go inside? What time do Brazilians like to start partying? Like midnight. That means we have to wait seven hours before the party starts. Yeah. Oh. You're gonna go wrong. I gotta go. Let's get some <laughs> let's get some rum or something. Here? Yes. I shoot it, man. Who's shooting? Cops. <clears throat> that was a bad street, I was thinking already. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's go to... Should, can we go the other way? After I calmed down, Elias told me it was the police who'd been shooting off the guns. They just roll up to show the fucking drug lords who's really in charge. Pow. Pow, pow, pow. Five gunshots, I think. All I heard was run. I turned around, I left the whole team. I was long gone. Just remember what my pa told me. I, I just don't be the last one. Our buddy here who owns a bar, he's having his birthday party here tomorrow. He invited us to come here for the barbecue. So I think we're doing pretty well. We'll have a good time here tonight. We'll come back tomorrow, eat some meat, drink some beer, and what do you know? Pretty soon we're locals. Chin chin, the sun. Chin chin. Double chin. Why would we go anywhere else? By the funk, if funk is just a music, it's a rhythm. Then we have the favelas by the funk, which is a baile, which is a dance, baile is dance in Portuguese, that is organized by the drug lords. It's, it's a place where the violence and the frustration that is inside them explode. Many times people get killed. Tilopoulos was a TV Globe reporter. TV Globe is a giant here in Brazil. He was trying to record with a hidden camera microcam a baile funk. He got captured by the drug lords. Those guys put his body in a, what they call micro, microwave, which is a kind of tower of tires. They put the Team Lobs inside alive, and they, they burn it. And what is left of his body, what was found of his body, was just a, a clock, a watch. So do you think it would be dangerous for us to take some cameras to a Baile Funk if we were to get invited to one? Very dangerous. Very dangerous. Don't do that. <laughs> So we partied there all night. By the time I got out of there, I was thanking my lucky stars that I hadn't been microwaved. 
Oh yeah. Oh fuck. Oh, que rico. Fuck. These Brazilians are so nice. Everywhere you go, they just give you barbecue. It's incredible. You like that? I do. It. The nicest people you can meet. That's how I'm trying to say it. I, like I told you before, people here are so friendly. Oh no, I like this. Isn't this the same street though that the gunshots were on? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Chat, 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 chat,